But similar to the roads, there are certain rules on the subway, even though most may be unspoken. When one teenager decided to break these rules, one stranger decided to teach him a lesson. Being a passenger on a subway can be, in a word, uncomfortable, especially at peak times. Sometimes it gets so bad that it is nearly impossible to find a seat. Common subway courtesy is that one person should only occupy one seat, leaving the others open for the rest of the passengers. However, one boy thought that he was above those rules and laid on the bench, taking up three seats, preventing other passengers from sitting down. When one of the passengers saw this, he wasn't having it. Not all of us have the luxury to drive a car to work every day. There are many people who have no choice but to take the public transport. Unfortunately, when taking the subway, there is a possibility that you might run into an individual who will not treat you kindly or with respect. Whether it is because of the tight space or the amount of people, buses and trains tend to bring out the worst in people. This story is an example of how rude people can be sometimes. When stuck in a confined space, surrounded by a horde of people for a period of time, there are many occasions when you might see someone doing something that may be considered rude. For example, there are some passengers that refuse to give up their seat. Others have even put bags on the seats, preventing anyone from sitting down next to them. There are also those who play their music too loud, eat too loud, or is on a loud phone call that lasts forever. As mentioned before, some people put their bags on the seats to prevent people from sitting next to them. Surprisingly, that is not the worst that they could do. What's worse is putting your legs on other seats. If that wasn't bad enough, there are some that, when asked nicely, refuse to move their legs, which is completely unacceptable. When you follow the protocol of courtesy, and the person still says no, what are you supposed to do? When faced with this awkward situation, many people have different strategies for dealing with it. Some will politely negotiate with the person, trying to get them to move, while others will ignore it and find a seat somewhere else. There are also those who are a little bit bolder and will confront the person. However, this can be tricky because you never know how the other person will react. If they are aggressive, then things could take a turn for the worst extremely fast. Is a seat really worth a fight? A certain victim didn't use violence, but chose a unique approach for dealing with a rude teenager who though he was above common courtesy. The reason that this story became a viral hit overnight is because of a tweet that Twitter user at the underscore drought underscore three posted. As of May 2019, the tweet has received about 137,000 likes, 47,000 retweets, and thousands of comments. A couple of the comments went like this, as a New Yorker this gives me life, it's the only way children will learn, and my faith in humanity has been restored. You may wonder, what was this tweet that resonated with a lot of people? The person behind this Twitter moment is a young lady by the name of Isabel Kim, who is known on social media as at the underscore drought underscore three. Kim loves being able to share her story on social media. So, when she saw what happened on the subway, she knew that it had to be shared and quickly captured the crazy moment. This is what she started to snap away. Before we can really discuss what went down in Kim's tweet, we have to start with the story behind the picture. If you didn't know, not every subway is individually sectioned off and, instead, have long benches for multiple people to seat on. In this particular case, there was a bench that could easily fit three people. However, a kid had another idea in mind. Colloquially, in the public transport world, there is a term that is referred to someone who lays down on the subway, the laydowner. Genius, right? The kid in Kim's tweet is the perfect example of what a laydowner is. He is seen stretching his legs on the bench, leaning against his mom, taking up two seats. As he played on his phone, he was apparently oblivious to how awfully rude he was being to the rest of the passengers. It is a general rule of acceptance that you give up your seat to particular members of society, the disabled, those who are pregnant, and the elderly. When people approached this kid and asked him to move, the child simply ignored them and continued playing on his phone. To make matters even worse, his mom took no responsibility for her son and did nothing about his behavior. While the kid was ignoring the other passengers, who were eager to sit down, his mother was doing the same. She was completely ignorant of what was going on around her, just like her son. 
She too was distracted with her phone and focused on YouTube rather than the rest of the world. I guess being insensitive runs in the family. As the mom and son were lost in their tech, the other passengers were forced to stand. As the frustration from the other passengers was beginning to escalate, the kid finally took notice. In response, he moved his legs, but only slightly. To give the others some space, he crouched his legs, still refusing to take his legs completely off of the bench, adding to the other passenger's frustration. Then, one passenger, a hero in the midst, had enough, and decided to do something. Suddenly, a mysterious-looking man came forth and took notice of the inconsiderate kid. The man wore black clothes and sunglasses and bore a striking resemblance to a British pop star. In fact, many people commented that they were convinced this man was Elton John. Unfortunately, it wasn't Elton, but that still didn't take away from this man's amazing actions, one which made this tweet instantly go viral. Like the many before him, the Elton John lookalike stood there and waited for the boy to notice him. The kid never did. Offended by the kid's audacity, he knew that it was time to take matters into his own hands, and he did something that the kid would soon never forget. The man sat on the kid. It is important to note that the man did verbally ask the kid to move, but the boy continued to ignore him, leaving the man no other choice but to make his own space. Besides, the seat underneath the kid's legs was meant for a passenger like him anyway. The man thought it only right. The kid's reaction to this says it all. Kim was able to capture the exact moment when the kid realized he was being sat on. For a good couple of minutes, the boy was lost for words and just sat there with his mouth wide open in shock. It appeared that this was the first time that the kid didn't get what he wanted. The next set of photos show how hard it was for him to come to terms with reality. The man thought that he had every right to sit in the space that the boy had taken over with his legs, and rightfully so. Seeing that the boy, whose name was later revealed as Joe, had no respect, the man wanted to teach him a lesson. There is no denying that the boy learned the hard way, but by the time his mother realized what was going on, it was too late. When the man initially sat on her son, the mom persisted in playing ignorant. It was only when she missed her stop did the mom take notice of what was going around her. Immediately, she blamed her son. Of course, the only person to blame is herself for having been so absorbed in her music rather than her son. During all of this, Kim continued to record, sharing everything on Twitter. The boy's mom began complaining to her son and yelling at him in front of everyone on the subway, blaming him for missing their stop. It was clear to everybody in the subway that the boy was extremely uncomfortable. After being sat on by a stranger and ridiculed by his mom in front of everyone, it was evident that the kid wanted to leave as soon as possible. The argument between the mom and son was not recorded, and when Kim stopped recording, they got off the subway. However, it didn't just stop there though. Shortly after the end of the video, the kid had a few things to say and included a few choice words. According to Kim, the boy turned on the stranger and began cursing. In an interview with the New York Post, Kim said, when they got off, he yelled F. F you, several times and stormed off. The story didn't end there. Somehow, it worked its way to other places. After hearing about this story, someone came up with the idea of creating a t-shirt, featuring the infamous laid downer himself. The shirt is a simple white tee with a picture of Joe's hilarious reaction to being sat on. It's clear that the stranger and Joe will go down in subway folklore. Though many find the story comical, some people are not amused. While many were glad to see justice served, there are those who think it wrong of the stranger to sit on the kid. Some would even go so far as to say that this was a form of assault. While this is believed by a few, the majority support the man's action. Online, most believe that the stranger made the right choice in combating Joe's rudeness, praising the man by saying, not all heroes wear capes, he has zero SS left to give, and he is my blood brother. No matter what side you may fall on, one thing is for sure, Joe will never forget the day he was schooled in subway etiquette. Next time the boy hops on the subway and refuses to move his legs, he should take notes from this guy. At least he's providing a means of entertainment. We've all been there when you're trying to relax after a long day of work and the guy next to you won't get off the phone, or in this woman's case, move their legs to spare an inch of space. 
or the woman passed out taking up the whole row of seats. We're sure that most subway systems want their riders to be comfortable, and the more props you can find to make the journey as easy as possible, the better. Even if this does include a newspaper to act as a light blocker. But what about all the other passengers? Let's pray the subway was empty that day. You be the judge, do you think they're kissing or sleeping? Either way, if I walked past this I'd be scarred for at least a week. And lady, put on some shoes. This woman clearly will go to great lengths to make sure she follows through with her date plans. Apparently, she was held up at work and decided to start preparing dinner on the subway. And chopping onions of all things. She even had passengers around her tearing up. First of all, why would you buy in car and then it on the subway? I guess either he's a germaphobe or he just really likes the amenities, but this guy sure is a waste of space. This has to be something only a true gamer would understand. You are blocking the exit bro. You are all disgusting, and I want you to stay 5 feet away from me. Imagine first of all trying to haul that thing in a subway, you know for a fact she asked an irritated passenger for help. And second, the look on everyone's faces when they see her posted there blocking the entire hallway. You might want to consider the free delivery next time. Um, hello. Can you not? This is exactly why women don't want to ride the subway. Next time, at least be a little smarter about where you're reading. Excuse me while I whip out my personal table real quick, it's sushi time. Oatmeal nearly spilling out of the pot, and a ladle as a spoon. Really? Is breakfast that important? By the looks of it, this aspiring musician still needs a lot of practice. Don't mind the 10 people standing around you seatless, while you sprawl yourself out for a catnap. They'll be fine standing for the next half hour. The subway was full and he didn't feel like standing, so what did he do? Found himself a nice spot to lounge on the floor instead. Totally normal.